What's the mood like and the preparation like going into this whole game among your team? Uh, it's the same as it's always been, probably a little bit more energy. Uh, we're just excited to have another game to play, to finish it off right, uh, finish the season off right. Uh, we're just going into a very excited, a lot of energy. I mean, just can't wait to play. Um, I would agree with Kiava. Um, I think the team is looking forward to the opportunity. Um, being able to send the seniors out the right way is really the most important thing. Um, being able to finish the season correctly. Hey, Miles, you've got more than a handful of Texas guys on this roster. What sold you on San Diego State? Um, the honesty of the program. When I was going through my process, um, when I came out here, they didn't try to sugarcoat anything. They didn't try to tell me anything I wanted to hear. They just told me how it was going to be. If you come in and work hard, you'll get the opportunity to play. And uh, I really respected that about them. How aware are guys in Texas of San Diego State? Can you uh, explain your question a little bit more? How aware are guys, are players in Texas, how aware are they of San Diego State? Um, I think they like it here. Um, a lot of guys are kind of from the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Uh, I think I'm the only Central Texas guy. But um, when they get here, it's kind of a collective bond that you kind of bring with you here, um, kind of repping that Texas pride that you have. And uh, you always, you know, um, want to represent where you're from well. So. What's it going to be like to play in Texas in a bowl game for the um, I think always getting the opportunity to play in a bowl game is special. Um, nothing you take lightly. Um, I think getting to go back home again uh, is extra special for the Texas guys because um, it's not like your family's here. They get to see you play all the time. Um, you get opportunity for them to come, friends that wouldn't necessarily be able to come see you play. Um, so it gives you a little bit more um, juice and energy when you, you get a chance to play in front of your family, a little more comfort comfortability. We always hear about how special Texas football is and how you know, it's like a religion to the state. What makes it that way that they're um, I would say pride, uh, just because you always, like I said earlier, you want to, you know, represent where you're from well. Well, when you're, you know, playing against uh, mainly all Texas guys, it's then it really comes down to, you know, where you're from or where they're from. You know, you're maybe 10, 15 minutes apart from the next school, so um, you always want to have that edge over them when you, you know, see them out at the grocery store or you see them um, different places. You kind of have that little extra swagger to yourself. Who's better, Texas players or California guys? <laughs> California, uh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, well, I might be a little bit biased, but I think Texas guys always have a little bit different mentality than California guys. But uh, I think when you get here to a place like this, um, our coaches do a good job of um, helping everybody get on the same page and um, making it all about the team and, you know, one common goal. Uh, you know, nah, I mean, my, I think my set of the best. Uh, when we do get here, you know, we, uh, it's like we play we play with each other for a very long time. That's how the coach is installing us from day one. I mean, uh, we just we just like build a relationship like no other. I mean, even even if they're from wherever. I mean, like Parker Ball from Arkansas. Like, it doesn't matter where you come from. Uh, when you come here, you're gonna build a great relationship with them, and you're gonna feel like you play with them forever. So that's the best thing about it. Do you notice something different in a guy from Texas? What do you notice about? It? Uh, I would say like they're more of they're more of like loyalty than anything because it's just like kind of like what they come from uh, they like come from like a family oriented kind of stay of caring for others and everything so uh, that that's more that when I see like from people like down south that's more of what I see from like Texas especially uh, but they're just like more uh, down south like of just caring and just always care for your well-being and everything else. So that's the main thing about it. You guys the team awards the other night. What did it mean to you for the awards that you received? Uh, it meant a lot because, you know, that's that's what the team thought of me. And, uh, you know, uh, just for those guys to think that of me, uh, it was a big honor for me. I mean, because, you know, I just, uh, I'm just so grateful and blessed to be able to have the opportunity of my teammates think that of me. And, I mean, I just couldn't, like, be able to have those awards or, do anything I did this season without those guys. So I just thank them and, and the coaches for that. Miles, did Coach Horton recruit you? Uh, he did. He did. How aware are the coaches down there of Coach Horton? Um, I think very aware. You know, a, a lot more guys are a lot more open to going a lot more places just because of social media and things like that. You're able to see, um, you know, all the different places that you can possibly go. Um, I think it does. It helps 
having guys that are, you know, before you. Like I had a couple of guys from my high school that went to outer state and, um, and played. So I think that kind of gave me more of an open mind for when those guys came to recruit me and so things like that. I was able to, to hear what they were trying to say and really um, be able to take it in. When you go home, do, do uh, your buddies ask you about San Diego State, what it's like out there? Always, always. They, um, they always say, that uh, I got to be living the dream, you know, living in San Diego, playing college football. And um, I don't think they're wrong at all. There's not much, uh, not a better place in my mind that you could think of to play football rather than San Diego, California. You try and sell them on it? <laughs> um, no, I don't. I don't try to sell anybody on anything. I try to, you know, uh, advise them of my experiences here, and then I always tell them that um, wherever they go, there's no, no one can play there except for them. So it, at the end of the day, it has to be their decision.